Hey guys, it's G, welcome back to another video. I was gonna say vlog, but video. Now, I really wanted to do a sit down, like Q and A with you guys. I feel like I've not really sat down and just chatted about anything and everything. And I feel like it's good to just have these videos where I'm kind of opening up to you guys and um, feel a bit more like, I don't know, like I'm having a chat with you, which is kind of the whole point of these videos. I'm not looking my best today, so please excuse that. I don't feel my best and I don't look the best. So please excuse how I look today. I'm literally just one big fat mess. But anyway, I actually went over to my Instagram, which you can follow me at official George Mankin. If you follow me over there, you can also be involved with other Instagram, like, base videos and things. I basically put on my Instagram a little question box and said, ask me some questions. So here we are. But before we get f <laughs> before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And of course, my Instagram and my TikTok will be linked down below and also on the screen. And without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So the first question I've got is, are you religious? This is really interesting because I've never been asked this question before. Well, I don't think so. But no, I'm not religious. I've never been christened. Um, the time, like when you're meant, well, not when you're meant to be christened, but when you normally get christened as a child, I was in hospital a lot. Well, I was in hospital for a solid two years and my mum didn't really feel like I should be christened because she believed that you know it's, it sounds really weird but my mum always said to me that if there was a god out there she would you know he wouldn't let things like this happen so yeah that's the whole reason I never got christened and that's why I'm not religious so no I'm not religious I don't know if I I don't actually know like I don't know whether to believe in a god or not I feel like I'm gonna go to hell just for saying that but I've actually never been brought up to be religious and it's just not something that I've ever been, I don't know, just really around. How to deal with toxic people. Um, my biggest, biggest advice for this is to cut them out of your life. Toxic people do not deserve to be in your life. I have had people who've been very toxic to me and yeah, as much as it is, as hard as it is to cut people out of your life, it's the best thing to do and just for you, for your sake and for your mental health and just generally as a person, just cut them out. They don't deserve your energy. This one is, do you struggle mentally? If so, even even if you're not I love you, don't give up fighting. Oh, you guys, honestly, are so lovely, yes. Like, I feel like I never used to, which is weird because I feel like years ago I didn't really struggle that bad mentally, but then I think with the job that I'm in, it definitely has made me struggle a bit more, which is probably like quite bad, but I love the job that I do. It's just obviously the, the downsides to it is, you will have some highs and some lows. Do you struggle mentally, I will admit. Like, I feel like a little bit more recently, which is not obviously the best, but you've just got to carry on and I kind of just get through with it, which is, yeah, one of them things, you've just got to get on with it. But yeah, I promise you, like, I may seem always happy on camera and only show you the best parts of my life, which is like, what, 20 minutes of a, 20, what is it, 40 minutes a week, I think, on my channel, like, I upload two 20 minute videos. That's not a lot that you really get to see. You guys don't see all of my life and the parts I don't show is the bad parts and I do definitely, definitely struggle with mental health. It's something that I'm still like, you know, getting used to doing things. It's just, I feel like we all do at some point and I feel like I definitely have been more when I've got older, more than when I was younger. I didn't really deal with it then, but it's something that you've just got to kind of look at what works for you, what helps you. If you're having one of them, you know, a bad mental health day, maybe take some time out and look at parts of your life that maybe isn't as stressful and focus on you as a person instead of overworking yourself and, you know, doing things that are gonna trigger you into quite a bad spiral and kind of just, yeah, focus on you and make sure you're looking after yourself and not putting other people and other things first. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, hopefully, and I'm really gonna say this, hopefully in five years, I will have something like a brand or maybe a collaboration with a brand I'd love to bring out, either a clothing range or an underwear range. I've always said that and it has been such a big passion of mine. Um, even makeup, like even if it ended up being me in a few years bringing out a makeup product, I'd be still happy. But my main goal, personal goal, like 
th that would be kind of like my dream would be to bring out either an underwear set or range or collab with London underwear <laughs> um, I don't know if they would do that but if they ever did collab with people in the future that would be my dream I'm a, my dream brand would be lounge um, but yeah I'd love to bring out either my own brand um, like loungewear, underwear and maybe like fashion as well honestly like fashion underwear is like my favourite thing ever in five years I want to see that as like my work goal but then also just generally like I just want to be happy like I think that's the most important thing hopefully not in the place that I'm in now because I feel like just in the minute I've not been the best so hopefully in five years I'm going to be happy with my job and just like you know growing and always have this kind of like stage where you're not 100% happy you're just getting on with it then in the future you'll look back at it and go girl you got it together like don't worry hopefully just be happy and yeah got my shit together and then also around people that I love I hate stuff like this I've got another one saying how do you see yourself in 10 years family marriage and children someone's have children I don't, honestly don't know I mean it'd be a great start if I had a boyfriend but at this point at, at this moment in time I feel like I'm not gonna get in a relationship anytime soon or probably in about 10 years I feel like I'm gonna be a single dog lady family this sounds awful and I really I'm gonna be quite horrible but I don't want kids and I've said that from being you know quite young I've always said I've not really I've always said I've never really wanted kids and I've always just wanted dogs I know that sounds really stupid I've never liked having kids I don't know, I just haven't got that motherly side to me. I have with people, but I don't have that with kids. I just don't have that connection. I think there's something going on with me because that's not normal, but I love my dog and, you know, like dogs. And I have such an attachment with like people in my life who I love, but with kids and stuff, I just don't have that attachment. I've never had that like bond with kids. I just have never been that type of girl so no like kids no thank you dogs yes I mean they are my whole world and life and everything like I love them so yeah dogs marriage I mean I'm probably not gonna be married in 10 years I'm probably just gonna be working my ass off being a boss girl because that's what it's all about and um, my documentary was just on the tally a few days ago so obviously people were watching that and then all of a sudden I had a lot of like the similar questions so one of them is do you still deal with chronic pain and um, I hope you found a way to deal with it thank you no no I've not found a way to deal with it yet I'm still dealing with it and um, my pain is still really bad I now have back pain which is another thing that I don't know what is going on I definitely need to get that sorted and checked out because oh boy it's not great um and it's quite hard as well i think that's what i'm also like in the back of my mind is i'm on morphine which is not great for you it's really bad on your liver i've been on morphine i don't even want to say how many years it's quite dangerous how many years i've been on morphine i feel like i've been on oh my god i feel like i've been on morphine since I want to say like nearly seven years i've been on morphine for years and years and it's really not good for your body like it only just ruins your liver and at the minute i'm just feeling so ill but i don't know whether it's the effect of my morphine or it literally is my morphine doing something inside of me that is quite a big worry for me and obviously because i can't have cbd or cannabis oil not the one that i can have anyway it is legal and i do get dms going you can have it i'm like i can't i need the thc and that's what will help my pain but obviously it's illegal in the uk so i can't have it so instead i'm just trying other awful drugs that are just probably destroying my body so yeah pain is still something that i'm really struggling with the other night i was just in agony it's just yeah i know i don't show you guys but honestly behind the camera it's still a huge struggle and just you know it's like part of my life i just have to get on with it and pray to god in the future there will be some kind of medical transformation in the cbd area Ah, oh, someone put, what made you change your hair look? I absolutely love it, by the way, literally stunning. Thank you. I just wanted a change. Honestly, I was so ready to just chop my hair off. I was in one of them ruts where I was annoyed at how long my hair was. I've had my hair long for absolutely, like, donkey years. Like, so many years of me having such long hair. It was annoying me. And I feel like I just needed to switch up my look because I've been in a bit of a crappy, like, 
I don't know, a little hole at the minute. So I was like, you know what, we'll cheer me up, switching my hair up. And just, I feel like switching it up as well does make you feel a bit more like, I don't know, more motivated. I definitely want to do more like really cool fashion looks now. My hair is a bit different. And yeah, I just really wanted a switch up and I love it. Like best decision ever. Did you ever manage to change your pain relief and get a diagnosis? Again, like I've mentioned, no. I'm still on morphine that is literally killing my liver no also the diagnosis no i never got a diagnosis even though the documentary made it out like i had a diagnosis and i don't like that part like that's the only part that i really don't like how it kind of went down that avenue the doctor in america thought i had a certain type of dwarfism which i've not got i know definitely i've not got i'm just i just don't have it so yeah i definitely don't have that which is annoying because the documentary made you believe that i had this certain diagnosis and i have people messaging me going oh my god so happy for you or you've got the same diagnosis as me and i'm like i've not got a condition like it's so hard because i do i really wish i could explain what really went on years ago and what what happened and stuff but yeah i know the real reason and i know what happened and yeah hopefully one day i'll be able to tell you guys without like legal things but yeah um it's not i didn't get a diagnosis because I know, I know why I'm small and I know why I deal with all this pain. But yeah, it's just one of them things. Hopefully one day I'll be able to speak about it. Favourite thing on Netflix? My favourite show is The Sinner. Um, but that has basically finished now. I've finished all three seasons. I absolutely love it. I'm currently watching The Fall, which is really good as well. It's like an old older show as well it's like crime you guys know crime is my favorite type of show crime just anything dark love it so yeah crime is my favorite type but yeah the fall is what i've been watching at the minute and i'm actually kind of enjoying it i was a bit bored at the start and now it's starting to pick up a bit and yeah i absolutely love it and black mirror as well that's like my favorite favorite show black mirror but they've not got any like new episodes out at the minute so i'm just currently watching the fall which is you know, it's great, it's not a favourite, but it's good. Something to watch. Oh, I love this. How are you generally? How's your mental health? Questions like this really mean a lot. Like, I know it sounds really stupid, but when people just ask you, like, how are you? You know what I mean? That's the tone of voice, like asking someone, how are you? And how are you? Like, how are you? <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's really nice to know that people care and ask how I am generally um, because I have a lot of people who will pop up just because they want to chat to me and you know I feel like not a lot of people check in on each other to see how everyone's doing and things and it's always good to check up on your friends do it like please do it it's really important to check up on someone's mental health and just how they are in general and like get them to open up and stuff because I think that is so important in this day and age as well so thank you for asking that um, at the minute honestly and all honesty, I'm not doing that great. I'm feeling a bit mentally not unstable. <laughs> but I'm not feeling the best I've ever felt. I'm having a bit of a dip in the, I don't know what you call it, just a bit of a dip, a bit of a crappy week, month. Don't know if this has got to do with my medication that I'm on and whether that's probably not helping me, but I'm just feeling so like, lethargic i've got no energy whatsoever i put my makeup on and i feel like i've done a whole workout like i don't know what's going on there i am in a little bit more pain at the minute and i'm also just very like mentally just hitting brick walls i feel like i've got a lot okay i feel like i've got a lot going on behind the scenes and i'm trying to deal with it i know i'll ride it out and i feel like next year is going to be so good to have a fresh start um but yeah thank you for asking it's really nice for you guys to ask how I am because that really does mean a lot. I hope you guys are well too. I love you guys. What's been going on lately? Honestly, I don't know. Like, not really, in all honesty, not a lot's been going on. Um, it's been a bit like step, you know, just boring because of COVID. Not really got on got a lot on in my life. Um, yeah, it's all because of COVID. Nothing's been that great. Even YouTube is crap because of COVID, which is not the best. Someone asked what shampoo and conditioner do I use to wash my hair? I always use the, I can't say the name, I'll put it on the screen now. It's the Colour Protection. It's the big salon shampoos and conditioners. You pay like 20 quid, I think 20, 30 quid for the shampoo and conditioner but it is so worth it genuinely the best shampoo and conditioner i've used for my hair is still super soft even though i bleached the front of it it's like the best condition love it love it love it would you go back to the little people convention 
<laughs> I've never said this on my channel before. No, like straight up, no, I would never go back. Um, I have done it before and I've never really felt like a fit in because I don't have a diagnosis. I f was made to feel very like, like an outsider and no one liked me. And when people asked what condition I had and I said, I don't have one, they literally were like, oh, and like walked away. I, people were really, really rude and I just feel like I don't fit in. So I feel, it, feel like I fit in more with like day-to-day -day people than I do with people who've got sort of short treasure, short stature, which is unreal. But yeah, I would never do it again. And I don't think, I don't know, it's just not my vibe anyway. I just don't. It's not really been something that I've ever wanted to do and go back, even though I did meet Kiki. I love Kiki. She is honestly such a badass queen. Love her to pieces. She was honestly the only one out there who made me feel, who made me feel so welcome and was so lovely to chat to. I still have her as a friend on Snapchat. We still chat. Um, I follow her on TikTok now. She's incredible. If you don't already, go follow Kiki. She is a queen. I love her. And we also are very similar because she also has a very rare um, condition. Yeah, if you haven't already, go follow Kiki. She is just the best. Love her. I'm probably going to end on this last question and this is what dreams do you have for the future? Well, mainly just to be happy. Um, I would love, I would love, I would love to have a boyfriend at some point in my life. I mean, I'd love to be loved. Like, that would be great. I feel like love just isn't a thing for me anymore. Great. But yeah, I'd love to be loved. That would be great. And then also another one would just be to have my own band, a very successful, like, diverse band that would kind of just not break the industry but kind of shake it up a bit and um, I'd love to have my own loungewear and um, fashion just generally like that is where my passion is to be like successful in my business to have my own business my own little studio as well to be able to film in and to create content for you guys and um, I can't imagine what it's going to be like in a few years on social media and I can't wait for that because I think hopefully in a few years it's going to be you know one of the best like, I don't know, digital worlds. I think it's gonna be amazing. And I would love to be on TV as well, like be able to present. I'd love to do This Morning. Like This Morning is my favorite show and to be able to present, maybe have like my own little segment on This Morning, that would be great. Or just to be on some kind of, I don't know, TV. I love TV and I love talking and chatting, presenting. That is definitely like a long-term goal. And hopefully one day, I'd love that. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed this little like chatty sit down chat have a chill grab a cuppa kind of moment with me i do hope you enjoyed i don't know just getting to know me a bit more and being able to like i don't know get on that personal level which is always something that i love doing i love just chatting to you guys and letting you know a bit more about me and stuff so yeah i do hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video